Hello, this is Corbin from Zoco Marketing. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up custom conversions inside of Facebook. We're gonna do a button click um, uh, custom event and then a URL custom event. Uh, this video is assumes that you already have the Facebook pixel set up on your website. So if you don't have the Facebook pixel on your website, um, down below I'll have a description on how to add that Facebook pixel or I'll put it up here as well. So go follow that video first and then come back to this one. Uh, for this, we are going to be creating custom conversions. And let me show you uh, the two different kind of forms that you're, the two most common kinds of forms that you're gonna run into when you're trying to track these things. So I'm gonna show you the example and why we're gonna go one way or the other. So on this form, when I fill it out um, and hit submit, you're gonna notice that my URL doesn't change. Just the page itself says, uh, you know, thanks for contacting us or, or whatever it may be. So the URL doesn't change. And so for this situation, you're gonna need to track it on that button click. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. And then the next thing that we're gonna look at on how to track is here I have this test form. And if I put my name and email here and hit submit, um, you can see that this URL is gonna change and it's gonna to go to thank-u. So I'm gonna show you how to track both of those. We're gonna start off with the button click custom conversion and how to do that. So we are inside of Facebook Business Manager and I'm gonna go over here to Events Man Manager. And tracking a button has become, Facebook has actually made it very simple to do this. Um, you don't have to do any coding, uh, very simple, um, just basically click and it's done kind of thing. So we're gonna go in here, we're gonna make sure we're on the right pixel. We're gonna go to settings. And then we're gonna scroll down here to uh, to do event setup. We're gonna turn this thing on and then we're gonna open up event setup tool. Enter your website. You want to track the button for, so Zoco Marketing, we're gonna open this up and it's gonna take us to our actual website. Okay, and once we've put in that website, we're gonna see something like this in the top left-hand corner, events on this page. And uh, look how simple Facebook has made this. So we're gonna hit track button. It automatically finds the buttons that are on your page. So as you see here, you have the submit right here. We're gonna click on this and we're going to uh, give this event a category. And for this case, it is gonna be a lead. Um, we're not gonna include a value for this because it is a lead. Um, and we're gonna hit confirm. And there it is. We are now tracking that form submit button. So whenever somebody fills out this form and hits submit, uh, it will count as a conversion inside of our Facebook pixel and when we're running ads and things like that. So we're gonna finish setup here. Um, it's just telling us what exactly we created, hit finish. And we're gonna skip this. And now to make sure that this event is fine, you're gonna wanna come over here to test events. And we're gonna want to, oh, let's, Restart this. Clear activity, just because I was doing one before. And then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna put our website in right here, open this up, and then just go through the process of whatever it is to fill out, um, to fire whatever submit you or uh, event that you created. So for here, I'm going to fill out this form, just like this, hit submit. And then we come back over to our website or to the to the face to Facebook test events. And as you can see here, we have the page view fire and then we have the lead fire. So that is now inside of our Facebook pixel firing correctly. So that's the first form. The second one that we're gonna do is this one for um, zocomarketing.com slash test form. And as you recall, this one, uh, how you how we test this one is uh, is with the URL. And so there are two different ways that you can set this up. I'm gonna show you both ways once again. So you can come over here to Facebook and you can hit create and you can create this custom conversion. And we're gonna wait for that to load up. It'll be nice and slow. Sometimes this, let me clear this activity. Sometimes this likes to be really slow. Facebook has a couple of bugs inside of here and this is one of them that I've noticed. You have to click this a couple of times to get it to come up. It's gonna be a different thing. There we go. All right, so now it's coming up, the, the custom conversion. You can name this like form submit. 
form submit. Um, you can add a description if you'd like. Um, we're going to be based on all URLs, and then we're going to do URL contains. And then if we fill out this form, uh, and once again, I put two emails, uh, it's going to take us to a URL that says thank you. So wait for it. Thank you. We're going to take this guy. Come over here and insert that right there. You can give this a conversion value if you'd like, but once again, we're not going to do that. And then we hit create. Um, so now that has been created. So we're going to go through and test that. So we're going to go test events. We're going to put in our test form and open that up. Fill out this and submit that. And then we'll go back to Facebook and there we have it. So as you can see here, we have the form submit and the form submit. Uh, that was one that I'd created before just testing this. Um, so there, I have two firing on this page now. And of course I just put form submit instead of form submit, but that successfully fired inside of there. Um, another way that you could track this if you would like, just so you know, is you could come over to settings here again and you could do it the same way we did with the button tracking. So you would open up this events tool um, you'd put in marketing.com backslash test form. Open that up. See if it opens. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes I have to like do it a couple times. Got it. I've noticed my site doesn't have the HTTPS, but I've noticed when I do put the S on it, it seems to pull this up. Just a little trick for you guys. If you can't get the events, this thing to pull up for you, try putting an S if you don't have a secure site um, and it should pull up for you. So now instead of tracking the button, we're gonna track URL and then um, do the same thing. So we're just gonna do URL equals and then we're gonna grab this guy. Where's that at? And simply put, that in there oh oh no wait it wants us to fill out the form so we're gonna have to go here again submit that <clears throat> and once we get here we can add this as the tracked url so we're on this page now we hit tracked url and then it populates this right here and then we select the event and this is a lead and we do not assign a value and then we hit confirm and that is another way to track your form submission. Now, remember, don't do both of these options. Um, only do one or the other because you don't want to be double tracking conversions. So um, I'm actually going to delete this right now because I don't want to track those both ways. Um, but that is how you set up custom conversions inside of Facebook. They've made it really easy, really slick. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips and tricks like these. Appreciate the time, guys.